We should be wrapping up module 00 shortly, and so if you haven't already done so, you should make sure that you've read through all of the requirements on the module 0 page, and you have done all the required activities. Once you're done, there are four required submissions for this module. I've numbered all of the submissions so that you can help kind of stay on track with the course. And so if you did activities 00.1 and 00.2 and 00.4, there should be some sort of uh, indicator to you that you've missed something because you don't have a 00.3 submission. The activities are numbered this way. 00 represents the module. If we were to go to module 5, it would be numbered on 5. The activities would be numbered 05.1, 5.2, 5.3, etc. Make sure that you get all your submissions uh, in by the date that's posted, and the date will be posted in multiple places. So it's on your course syllabus, embedded in the syllabus. It's also on the syllabus page at the very bottom. The to-do feed on your home page will display what's due or what's coming up to be due. On each module page, it will indicate when your activities are due. There's a semester schedule at a glance page that repeats all this information as well. And so there's lots of different ways to make sure that you stay on top of your due dates. Above and beyond all of that, I'm going to send out an announcement at the beginning of every week that says, okay, we're working on module zero this week and the following activities are due. And so there's really no reason to not know when something is due throughout the semester. In fact, everything for the entire class will be published and available to you on the very first day of the semester. And so on day one, you should know exactly what is due on week 14, 15, 16, etc. So the submissions for module one, I'm going to open them in new tabs. Well, actually, they, they open in new tabs on their own. I'll go ahead and open all of them. I've numbered them in order, in the order that I would like you to complete them. It's more important for modules 1 through 12 than for the intro module, but get into that habit and it will make your life easier in the long run for this course. The initial response activity is your opportunity to tell me that you are struggling with getting used to Canvas or you don't understand what you're supposed to be doing. For this submission, you must submit the activity and then you need to either say, I feel comfortable with the navigation structure of the course and I'm good to go, or you need to say, I'm confused and I have questions. And then you need to ask questions. So don't just submit this and say, no, I don't understand. Say, no, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm confused about the following. And you can ask a thousand questions in this submission portal. Your teacher will check this submission portal every day, multiple times per day throughout the first two weeks of the semester. And so you should get a very quick response via Canvas if you had questions that you submitted. The second thing I would like you to do is upload a profile picture. You can do that by clicking on your profile or your account in the top left hand corner. You can see mine has a little picture. You're going to click on that if you don't have a picture. When you navigate to your profile, you can upload a picture and you can make it personalized for you. I have some requirements for my class. I would like it to be a picture of you and only you. It should be a zoomed in picture of your face. It should not be a cartoon of Homer Simpson like I've gotten in the past. Um, and it should be clear and crisp and I should be able to tell who you are if I was to bump into you on campus. Now, some students don't want to do that and that's fine. This activity is only worth five points out of like a thousand points in the semester. So it's not going to negatively hurt your grade if you don't do it. However, it creates a sense of community. It allows us to recognize who we are if we see each other on campus. And then also it helps me connect when I'm scoring your grades to the person that I'm scoring. And so if you come to campus, I'll be able to say, oh, you were the student that did the roses for project two and you did the, the New York subway map for project five, etc." And so it means a lot to me if you were to upload a profile picture. If you get an error when you're uploading a profile picture that says your file is too big, I can almost guarantee you that your file is not too big, it's that your storage is too small on Canvas. If that happens, you have to call the help desk at 801-957-5555 for help, and they can help you troubleshoot how to remove files from Canvas so that you can upload a picture. The third activity is probably the one that will take you the longest during the first week of the semester. It is an introduce yourself to the class activity. I would like you to introduce yourself to the class. I provide an example here, so I put little pictures together. I like to travel, so I included some travel pictures. I would like you to practice using discussion threads. That's another goal of this activity. And so in order to submit this activity, you will read through my posts so you can understand what I'm expecting. 
and then you'll hit the reply line right below my post. It will open a text box window thing and then you'll be able to submit your own reply. So I want you to practice using discussions because we'll be using them throughout the semester. And so your first goal is to be able to hit reply and, and respond to my initial post and to understand that's how discussions work. And then the second thing I would like you to try to do is try to embed a photograph. So embedding pictures is, is kind of difficult for some reason in Canvas. And so I'd like you to give it a shot. You can either attach a picture or you can embed a picture. But you should try to troubleshoot this during the first week of the semester so that when we get to like a critique where you have to post a copy of your own work, you don't lose points because your image didn't attach to the discussion. If you have trouble with that, you can always email me through the Canvas inbox and I can try to walk you through the proper steps for embedding images and discussions. And then last but not least, there will be a syllabus quiz. I think there were only nine questions. It will ask very basic questions about the syllabus to make sure that you read it and that you understand what it is saying. Once you're done all of these activities, you are done with module 00 and you can move on to whatever the next goal is. During the summer semester, modules one, uh, module 00 and module 1 are due during the first week of the semester. And so if you're in a summer class, when you're done with these activities, you should jump right on to module 1 and you should get started with the first, I'm going to call it the first real module in the class. If you're taking this during the fall or spring semester, module one is usually due at the end of week two. However, if you're done early on in week one, I would highly recommend getting started uh, sooner rather than later on module one, just so you have a head start. It's always okay to work ahead in ART 1200, but if you submit anything late, even if it's one minute late, it'll be docked 10% for being late. Okay, that wraps up my series of intro videos. If you have any questions after watching these videos, please email me through the Canvas inbox and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have or help you with the navigation structure of the course.